let's talk about the enhanced domains of uh, Salesforce. Many people don't understand what enhanced domain is. Uh, there are a lot of people, millions of people work on Salesforce and using Salesforce, they have no idea what enhanced domain is. Enhanced domains are the next version of my domain with this feature, all URLs across your org contain your company specific my domain name, including URL of your experience, cloud sites, Salesforce sites, Visual for sites, and content files. This feature changes domain suffix, the part after the my domain name to meet the latest security standards. Also, all sandbox URL contain the word sandbox, making them easier to identify. So, why? This is very important. It's a security feature. The major web browsers block third party cookies from 2022 as a security requirement. Advanced domains solve the problem by cross domain cookies by changing the structure of the domains that serve content. If you don't understand the whole thing, just say there's a security enhancement. It's associated with cookies and then it's about the blocking of third party cookies. And this is a workaround to access the third party cookies. So um, if you are uh, a techie, you can dig into that. But uh, if you are not familiar with this, just forget it. Just think of as a security feature. Benefits. A lot of benefits with that. Uh, new enhanced domain URL will not have instance names like NA32, NA52, etc. And have simplified domains and hence will easier to remember and prevent destruction of is moved to another instance. There are the uh, points of benefits. Meet the latest browser security standards. Improve the certificate security standard. Each domain now had, has its own certificate. Standardizes the host name syntax pattern. Uses my domain value for more features. Site Salesforce experience now uses my domain. Accelerate Salesforce experience traffic. New domain names are designed to share cookies between domains. New set of host names of your org. So these are the benefits. So spend some time on the screen, go through that, and then try to understand what's going on with my domain. Yeah. Um, Hostname comparison. This is a chart or a, or a image. Image. So it's, this is a current hostname, enhanced domain hostname, sandbox dom, dom domains hostname. Here, right now, you have lighting dot post dot com or my dot dot com. Um, the uh, after changing so it will be sandbox.lightning.com for sandbox for my.selfhost.com it will be sandbox.my.selfhost.com these are the enhanced domain host name these are the sandbox enhanced domain host names um, go through with that and then um, so you can see sandbox is added um, to identify whether it's a sandbox or not um, so these are the current, these are the NAS domain also, and this is a sandbox NAS domain uh, host name. Yeah. Impact. When you enable enhanced domain, Salesforce URLs, URLs change across your org. Your production may, uh, my domain login URL doesn't change but almost every other Salesforce URL change. Experience cloud size, Salesforce cloud size, Visual Force pages, content files, use your my domain name. To help minimize the disruption, Salesforce redirects other non-enhanced domain host names such as your Visual Force pages until 20, winter 24. They stop after that, okay? 
you have to fix before 24 winter. This is a timeline. You can see started 2002 and then NS domain uh, is uh, GA. Re um, URL redirection is possible until here. October 2030. NS domain is used by default by AUX, so it goes uh, NN domain is enforced. You know, after 23, winter 24. NS domains without redirection will uh, uh, be enforced. So all names will be, uh, will not be used. Only new um, domain uh, URL will be used by Salesforce. Yeah. This is a timeline. This is very important timeline. So you have to plan accordingly to fix this issue in your orgs. Winter 23, Aug 22 for sandbox and October for production. Even after non, after enforcement, Salesforce will support redirection of all URL, or you can disable if required. This will end by Winter 24 release. Really. That's a, what I told you. I mentioned it again. How URL redirection will work? When you enable enhance domains, you will notice your previous my domain listers in the routing section of my domain setup page. In the routing section, you can toggle the redirection behavior on, in, on and off. And also you can have other option to permanently delete the previous URL. So the ball is in, in your court. You, you can play with that. Um, you can toggle between all URL, new, new URL, and then you can delete the old URL, and then you can enable um, redirection. So, the, so you have flexibility to that. These are the checklist. Uh, for the enhanced domain, get list of all domain which are going to be changed and check mention host names, network firewall configurations, hard coded host name references, authentication, config hard coded host name in custom settings, service integration APIs, mules of and other middleware UI integration, test normal usage activities. What about manage package like? Cloud Chris, social links comp uh, company sites, uh, experience cloud URL will change, custom domain, bookmarks, uh, mobile publisher of experience cloud app, sales for CPQ external configurator, embedded serving, service deployment, chat widget, third party cookies, error and classic, embedded content, single sign on. Single sign on integration of OAuth using the .cloudforce and .database.com domain services can fail. So, yeah. Go through the list. So, for this one, is all URL format and then check to mention host name. Check description is check for via versus. Look at this uh, checklist before you enable uh, uh, NS domain be prepared and then you have to fix it accordingly and then there are a lot of implications and there are pain points and there are points we can which can fail so again um, so this is kind of a org wide uh, change impacts your enterprise architecture uh, good luck with that, this is Salesforce USA. We are going to talk about the uh, enhanced domains. First, we have to talk about a my domain. So this is the overview. My domain is a unique value that is used for company branding in URLs. For example, abcd123.my.salesforce.com or maybe um, your company name, myforce.com, anything. 100 of orgs now have my domains. 100% of the orgs have now my, my domains. It's a, uh, it has a great and network flexibility, unlock new features. So this is the, on the right side, you see a diagram. That's a public internet. Then you, my domain, CNMS, you go to Salesforce H and Salesforce load balances. That's a Salesforce network. You don't see that that's a hyperforce. Salesforce data center, government cloud, 
public cloud and then they get the data from those clouds so this is about my domain introduction to enhanced domains so new host names standard new set, set of host name for york you will learn later meet the latest browser security standard input certificate security standards each domain now has its, its own certificate earlier you have one certificate um, for uh, shareable one now you have one certificate standardizes the host name syntax pattern uses my domain value for more features such as sites salesforce experience now uses my domain um, uh, accelerated salesforce experience traffic so let's move on current host names is my.salesforce.com in and so on the is the same but the with my domain you add the sandbox here lighting.force.com you get that sandbox.lightingforce.com yeah so these are the you add sandbox and then you can see docu documentforce.com uh, is uh, enhanced domain host name is file.force.com sandbox enhanced domain host names are sandbox.file.force.com um, yeah so these are for sandboxes this is a um, uh, general ones yeah general urls so you can see the sandbox it added for sandboxes so you are this is like prod instance uh, so both you can see my dot self for the identical um, uh, document force there's a difference file dot force dot com uh, build a force dot salesforce hyphen community dot com and then it's the same <coughs> secure dot force salesforce com now is a my dot salesforce hyphen sites dot com and so forth <coughs> let's move on how to enable activation go to my domain setup click in the my, my domain detail section Se select enhanced domain select use enhanced domain save your change that's that's how you um, enable my domain how to enable how to enable availability availability available in all hyperforce dogs the hyperforce available to all h enable dogs here available in all sandbox access go clouds um, this is the flaw of the enabling enable or non-h enable box in early may next year this is the timeline summer 2022 newly created dogs have used enhanced domain by default and then spring 23 the same and winter 24 end of the redirection from legacy host name they will stop it so 22 spring enhanced domain general availability they are available um, winter 23 enhanced domain enforcement enforces summer 23 there is nothing yet there what you have to do is you have to embark on the transition you have to plan test deploy afterward you have to plan it use a sandbox deploy before enforcement update host name in documentation verify integration test critical workflows choose to time to perform upgrades don't change my domain after deployment if you intend to keep the redirection from legacy host names so these are the plan test deploy afterwards first you have to review documentation join the trailblazer community understand possible breaking changes and prepare for testing testing use sandboxes verify integration test critical workflows gain confidence you have to deploy after that to prod deploy before enforcement choose time to perform the upgrade inform the users afterwards 
update host name in documentation that's uh, uh, after the deployment in prod you have to do this yeah. testing recommendation hotspots uh, test using sandbox apps verify system that use host name host names network firewall configuration hard coded host name references authentication config service integrations and apis um, use normal usage activities they are very important uh, frequently asked question will our old host name redirect to the new one and how long yes instantly how does this affect our APIs? No, no effect. What we discover the incantability can be rolled back. Uh, no, you have to test it. Uh, uh, in lower sandbox, you have to be prepared. Will our custom domain be affected? No. Do we need to change SSO, SML, authentication configs? No, you don't have effect. How do I know which host name we use? Um, so you don't have to worry about that. This is the um, general uh, sum uh, summary. Enhanced domain to comply with latest browser requirement and security standards. Salesforce is requiring customers use enhanced domains. With enhanced URL in your so Salesforce organization, including customer experience, cloud site, Salesforce site, uh, uh, content file is stabilized with domain URL. Enhanced domain URLs are comply with future browser standard provide URL stability and brand. The reason for using enhanced domain is a, a main reason is modern browsers will stop uh, blocking the third party cookies. So that is a reason for that, you know. Um, Enforce first timeline, we discussed this earlier. Browser compliance. Uh, Enhanced domain comply with the latest browser recommend as they avoid third party cookies, otherwise, non cross site resources. Major web browsers, Apple, Safari, Mozilla, Firefox are already blocking third party cookies. Google had announced it plans to phase out all kind of cookies in Chrome 2003. They are still unblocking it. Without enhanced domain, Salesforce content is delivered from a multiple domain when the Users browser blocks a third party cookie, some content in Salesforce can get blocked. For example, a landing page that envylighting.force.com can load content where URL ends in initialforce.com. These are the um, uh, logins, my login, my salesforce.com. This is how you enable as we discuss my domain. You go to my domain, click the use and as domain. 